Caitlin, and I'm here with Allison Mason, the director of Finding Genoa, and um, she's had quite an interesting week this week. Can you tell me a little bit about your film first, though? Sure. The film, it's a drama. It's mm -hmm. about a young drifter who's running away from her past and an elderly woman who can't remember hers. Wow. It's a slice of life. It's about love and loss and finding your place in the world. Yeah, I, I've heard it has been received so well, not a dry eye in the room. Can you tell me how that felt, how that made you feel sitting there and you're watching your movie and, and seeing everybody else there and being so supportive and seeing it being received so well? How did that feel? It was pretty amazing, but I was really nervous because mm -hmm. none of the cast or crew had seen the film until Monday. That wow. was the world premiere and nobody had seen the film. Wow. So I was doubly nervous. You know, how's the audience going to receive it? And then how right. is, how are the people who are in the movie going to feel? Right. Like, do they approve? Is it, do, you know, did I do them proud? And and I was, it exceeded my expectations. I mean, I couldn't believe the reception was amazing. Wow. Really. And what was the filming process like? I mean, how long did that take and, and how was it? Was, was your funding really great and did you face any challenges during all of this? Well, I wrote the script 13 years ago. What? Yeah. And, um... I moved to Los Angeles, it was optioned, mm -hmm. um, 10 years ago. Wow. And that, you know, hey, we're making your movie. So my husband and I, we sell everything we own. We hop into Saturn and we drive cross country. We get to LA. Oh my gosh. Funding fell through. Um, so got a job. Mm -hmm. I got, um, you know, you, you move on. Yeah. And from there, the script had been optioned consecutively for the next eight years. We had wow. Mandy Moore attached, Diane Keaton attached, Mark Ruffalo attached. Um, Tony Goldwyn attached. It was a roller coaster. So right. about three years ago, I got the option back, mm -hmm. and I had directed a short film, and mm -hmm. I had directed for Current TV, and I said, you know what? Let's make our movie. We had no money, and we had a few friends, and we went out and did it. We um, took out a loan, and my father-in-law co-signed it. Wow. And we made our film. So it sounds like you're such a doer. You're just not somebody that's going to take no for an answer. I mean, it sounds like you were really, really passionate about this particular project. It was my baby. You know, mm -hmm. I, I really wanted to tell this story, and it just became clear that I was going to have to tell it myself, you know? Right. And, and, you know, once you sort of declare it, mm -hmm. and you just use the fear to sort of motivate yourself, I mean, it's there. You're scared. You're like, what am I doing, right. you know? And you just move forward. People really do rally up and support you. It's like the universe comes to your aid, you know, yeah. somehow. And, and, you know, we found locations that we couldn't afford, and we got them you know, pretty much for free. I mean, I, wow. I literally called people for two months every week until I would just wear them down, you know? I can yeah. feel it in their voice, like, oh, and they'd be like, is this Allison again? And you just, you can hear it in their voice, like, ooh, they're gonna break. And then when I would hear that, I'd show up with like cookies or a pie. Yeah. Every time. Way of their heart is through their stomach, I guess. That's it. So I, you've had a very interesting, very busy week, I hear. Can you tell me about your uh, adventures this week? <laughs> Really crazy, you know. We show up here. I mean, the drive up the mountains insane. You're right. like, where are we going? And it's it's beautiful, it's but it's gorgeous. a little scary. You don't know what you're where. What's at the top? Right. right. Where? So we got up here, and the people here are just amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, we were having breakfast, and the gentleman from the Rotary Club came up and just said, "We hold you guys in the highest regard. Thank you for being in our oh town." I mean, come gosh. on. You make a film, and then to have it received like that from the people is just like that There's was worth nothing it. better. Yeah. So we, we had our world premiere on Monday, mm -hmm. and then we screened it on Wednesday. Right. And that was just as great. You yeah, know what I mean? I it heard you had a, a packed house every we time. We did. It was amazing. So then we took off. Lee Rose, who plays um, Jean in the movie, mm -hmm. the lead, and then the other female lead, who plays Edie, Gail right. James, we hopped in the car with her boyfriend, and we drove to El Paso to attend the, another festival. To, all the way to El, El Paso? We did. So did we, you, you just went we straight We went through? straight through. We motored. Oh and gosh. Lee drives like 100 miles an hour. My gosh, woman. She's a maniac. Um, <laughs> we went. We did it. We showed up in El Paso at 4 o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. got a hotel room, like, you know, crashed, right. and then woke up the next morning, went to the festival, um, and I have to say, this is the festival. Right. Because that was just kind of, it was a very small crowd. Mm -hmm. Right. They were very appreciative. Appreciative. Yeah. Yeah. They loved the movie, but not a lot of people there. Not you know, a lot. I, not a lot. But um, the people who did stay, then, you know, that we wrangled into the movie, mm -hmm. they loved it. They're already on Facebook talking about the movie. I mean, so that's worth it. You yeah. Know? And we hopped back in the car. Drove all the way back here. Drove all the way back here. So you must No be tickets. So No tickets. No, no pop tires. No. And we even picked up no a nothing. kid on the way. <laughs> Wait, it what? Was, <laughs> 
the, the, the lead, her uh-huh. boyfriend, uh-huh. their whole family drove down from another part of Texas. It took oh them eight gosh. hours. And we decide, he decided he wanted his nephew to come back to the festival just to see the, the film and to enjoy all the stuff. So we picked up a kid. Yeah, hey. hey why not? Five in a car. Hmm. Sounds like you have a really, really incredible support system throughout your cast and the families of your cast and your crew and, and, and you yourself. That, what a blessing. I mean, really. I mean, I, I can't stress that enough. That I mean, first of all, without my husband Brian, mm-hmm. I mean, nothing would have gotten done. Right. He's the, he's the rock. He's the love and support. And then to have our, you know, in-laws, to have my in-laws, his parents, really rally and support and push and have them sign, you know, put put land up for collateral so we can make our film. Right. And the the cast and the crew. I mean, nobody got paid. Wow. And Lee Rose has been a rock star. I mean, I can't tell you. This woman is incredible. I mean, not only her acting ability, but as a human being. She mm-hmm. just, she blows my mind. Wow. And Gail and everybody else in the film, um, Christine, Jordan, yeah. um, everybody. It's amazing. Um, so we are beyond blessed. And then to have, to come to this festival and to see Tracy and just like, it's just been amazing. Yeah. Sounds like you have such a great, wonderful, wonderful story that's, you know, with you and with your film, and I I really wish you the best in the future as well. Do you have any um, plans for this film after this festival? Oh, we're going large. Oh, we're taking over. Oh, this this is the beginning. Like, we've decided. Yeah, worldwide, baby. Yeah. We're going for it. Gosh, I just wish you the best of luck. Thank Thank you you. so, so much for your time. It was absolutely wonderful meeting you. You too. Thank you. Hey, look... Look out for Allison Mason. She's she's taking over the world. I'm Caitlin Geyer here with Real Rocket TV.